So today I thought we'd bring the Lion Pockets deck. I have already recorded this previously, this entire video, but it's on my laptop, which unfortunately has died. So we're doing it again. And that's why we're on the mobile looking app this time. But same deck, same gameplay. Let's take a look. We've got the Crystal Skull. This is really to protect our coin spenders in Freak Show and the Bounty Hunter guy. Those are really the ones you want to do, the Witch, uh, Witch Finder Executioner. That's really you really want the Crystal Skull for to protect. Because if those are going and you get your bounties off, you can really do a lot of damage with the deck. Then we have Witchfinder. Witchfinder is really good. You play her, she gives the opponent a bounty at the end of your turn. So essentially she has a bounty on the turn you play her. It's almost a bounty on deploy. And she gives you three coins and she plays for seven. It's really good. And then if they don't remove her, you get so many bounties out that they really add up. And if they do remove her, you've already got value off one bounty activating and three coins. So she's really hard to deal with. Then we have the Seagi. We're playing four different gangs. So we have Prophet 8 in our deck. Let's look at like a Seagi here. Starts with four. For each gang we have plus one. We're at eight. You could slip in a fifth gang if you want all nine coins, but eight should be enough. Then we're playing Cleaver. Cleaver is really good, especially because you spend your coins in a different way, right? Most of the ways you spend coins in the game are boosting or doing damage or giving a bleeding or something like that, right? You give some kind of status. So if you boost with your coins, you can spread them out with the coerce blacksmith. But say like um, Sea Jackal, it boosts himself really tall, and then they can remove it. If you're doing damage, you have nothing to damage, you're losing out. But Cleaver spreads all your coins out across multiple bodies, which is really good. And his Intimidate's no joke either, that, that's for sure. They're playing Justice. Justice sets up Tunnel Drill, and then you just, well you know how Tunnel Drill works, just destroy their board. And that's really good. It also thins your deck by one, which is really good too. We have the Scoundrel. So the reason I like the Scoundrel so much is he pulls a bronze out of their deck. So you can pull a key card, say against um, Scoytel, you can pull a Elven Seer so that the Elven Seer doesn't work against someone who plays Portal. You can pull one of the Portal targets. And yeah, so it's really good. And then it can spend coins, get around Defender. Sometimes you bounty something and they play Defender. Scoundrel can get around that if you already have him out. Or you can play him once it is out, but you'll lose that bounty. He's also just a big play. He plays for 12 points, then he pulls them a card, you kill it. Solid. Junior. I really like Junior. The ability to answer anything that's 9 or less immediately is very powerful. And I've thought about... I've seen some people not run Junior. I just like him too much to not include. The 6 damage is crazy. The one bank to thin our deck and look for what we need. The one sculptor. This plays any crime for your deck. Most of the time you're going to play Justice, unless you need a different one. And there are a bunch of different ones to choose from. Which is why I like variety in the crimes. You'll notice we are not playing a Graydon here. Graydon's a 9. I'm just not the biggest fan of Graydon. If you destroy something with Bounty, sure you get the coins, and sure he can destroy something. But the chance that you need the destroy over spending coins is something I've always struggled with, right? Say it's a 7 point unit. You could spend 7 coins to kill it. If it has bounty, get the seven back. Supposing it was seven base power. It might not be. That's fair. But the only time you really need to answer something tall with Graydon, say it's like a it has to be like more than enough your coins can kill in a turn. And it would have to be something boosted where the bounty wouldn't give you value. That situation does come up. But say it's it usually comes up, say like a Joaquin, right? The Joaquin plays something, you can put bounty on it and kill with Graydon. That's decent. But I'm just not sold on him being in, included in the deck. I like some other cards better. Mainly uh, Junior and Scoundrel. We have the Tunnel Drill, we already mentioned. Freak Show is a really good spender. You put Bounty out, Freak Show comes down, kills it, and kills something else. You can blow through a bunch of guys real quick. Really nice. Kurt gives you a Purify, so you can remove a Lock, say on your Witchfinder. You can Purify the enemy that has Veil. Um, big one's Melusine. I haven't seen much Melusine, but if they play a Melusine, she has Veil and she's really tall. So Witchfinder can't get anything, so you put the bounty on her. You purify her, then you kill her with bounty and damage. Although she's something that's really hard to kill with a deck, to be fair. And something Graydon would be really good versus. But she's not popular, it's just an example. The one Hysteria, you could play two. Um, you could play two, and then cut Junior for Graydon. That's fine. And then cut one of our other crimes. I just like Hysteria. I like Confession Extractor better though. Because this gives you the coins and you don't want to, you don't really want to be proactive with the deck. 
in the manner you don't want to be proactive with units you want to be proactive with coins so you get yourself coins you force the opponent to do something and you answer whatever they did with your coins is usually like usually how i like to play the deck then we have the chorus blacksmith and bloody good friends bloody good friends i like less than chorus blacksmith because the chorus blacksmith has profit so they both play for six right because the Bloody Good Friends plays for 6 because it is a 6, and then the Blacksmith plays for 4 with 2 coins, which he can then spend. So they can both play for 6, but of course Blacksmith's more consistently able to spend your coins effectively. A Bloody Good Friends against low unit decks can't spend them very effectively, and against things that don't boost, he's just getting bleeding. So I like Blacksmith better. So that's why it's a 2-1 to one there. Witch Hunter Executioner, this is really the Bronze Engine of choice. Give an enemy... Bleeding, because bounty damage by one instead. So you something bounty, this pings it down and kills it. You something else bounty, the guy got your coins back, so you ping it down and kill it. And you get the coins back, and you repeat the process. Very, very solid. Then as far as the bronze crimes, we're playing two slanders, a dip in the pontar, a swindle, and a smuggle. Smuggle is one of those proactive cards that's really nice. Swindle is good because we have enough crown splitters that you um get the extra minimum increase. So you're going to usually be getting an extra... Seven coins off of that. Really solid. Then we have Dip in the Pontar. Excellent answer to Dolbathana Whisperer, among some other cards. So it's reasonable to include. I think it's pretty good. And then the one Sea Jackal just as an extra spender in case we need it. But yeah, that's the deck. Sorry we're on the mobile this time, but it should still be pretty good. Let's see how this deck does. It is... Ooh, it's gonna be hopefully not hyper thin. Hyperthin's really heavy point slam, which does well versus our control stuff, but it might not be. We should we can still win, but it should be a little more challenging if that's what it is. Uh, we have we're going second, which is nice. That's a good start for us. I don't want my swindle here then, or not my swindle, the smuggle. And then the rest of this hand looks decent. We have one way to put bounty out with slander. We have one with Kurt. We have a spender dip in the pontar. I'm not convinced on though. Let's replace that. Now, if he is hyper thin, we'll try and get him with this scoundrel we drew. It's gotta be careful when we do that. Okay, so it looks like it is hyper thin. There's a sunset wanderer is moving. Now we can put out our slander. We'll over coin by one. Actually, we can just. The thing is, we wanna give this bounty. We could Kurt bounty this. And then, let's see, we can Kurt bounty into. Yeah, let's do Kurt Bounty. Then we can spend the coins, get them back, and then get Bounty with our Slander. But we need a Spender. So we could also go for the Scoundrel approach. We play Scoundrel, pull out something, and kill it. But then we don't have the option to wreck him later with it. So it's a bit of a choice here. I think we will go for the Scoundrel approach, though. And we'll pull out this guy. Make it a little harder. And then spend our coins. Get them back. If he has Invocation, he's going to Invocation this card, most likely. It's a 12 for his deck. But they don't all play Invocation. And now we can go for a Slander into his ability again. That'll get us 8 coins back. Real good. Hopefully he doesn't kill this. There is a Heat Wave, so he's going to kill this. Uh, let's see, what do we play? We can go for our Slander still. So it offers a big swing. We can go Slander into Freak Show. That puts us to 9 coins. We list out on the Profit. We get 8 back after killing the Knight. So that's a big, big swing alright. But really we just want to win this round at all costs. We can force out his stuff this round. I don't think he has a lot of control. So a Freak Show should be pretty hard for him to get rid of. Well, that said, I think we'll go for the Slander here. Will we lose a coin, though? What if we start with Executioner and put out Bleeding? I think we want to start with Executioner and put out the Bleeding. The Slander gives us four coins, so we put out two Bleeding here. This will also help us next turn when we go for the damage. It'll be a little bit easier. Easier. And this will be a test for more removal. So he's going to put an Assassinate on this. Fine. 
He's at 18. Freak Show does 8 damage and does 8 more. So we win off of Freak Show, still win the round. So I think we will put out our Slander. On this knight. We damage it with one by the by with one from the bleeding, and then the confession extractor damage it by one, so it's an even number still. So freak show is better. Nickers is gonna come out here. Uh we lose our profit, but we're still fine. So we'll go for our freak show. Go here. Here. We don't want to waste these coins, so we'll go here. That gives us three points. Go here, we're at 9 coins again, damage, 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 and he's already used Nicker, so that's not going to pull out and just pull out of the deck and uh, wreck our day, so we'll take that there, and we'll try and push him on this round now. We really want to get rid of some of his big finishers, we want to get rid of Sunset Wanderers as well. Uh, we could also go for a long round 3, certainly an option. But it depends on our hand, right? If we have Witchfinder, which we don't, I'd be a lot more confident here. Justice is good, though. Justice and Tunnel Drill makes this pretty strong. We have Bank. I'm not sure about Hysteria. Although it is our only way to put out a bounty other than Kurt, so I think we keep it. Confession Extractor gives us proactive points, but really short on Spenders, not points. So I think for this round, we'll put it back. There's a Spender. That's nice. So we could start with Tunnel Drill, or um, with Justice to set up Tunnel Drill, but first we need a Dwarf or Crown Splitter out, right? So we'll go with our Coerced Blacksmith. It won't look very threatening. We'll get a couple coins. Let's see what he does. We're also I'm not also uh, I'm also not sure we're gonna commit here, so he's gonna kill it. Oh, uh, let's see. Do we want to keep playing? The thing if we keep playing is we're wasting a lot of our big cards. We don't have guaranteed setups. So we're just going to pass. We'll take the long round three. He will have a very big uh, Sunset Wanderers. He will have a big Snowdrop. But I think we will be able to handle it in the end. I think if we just keep going here, he ends up with the short round three he wants. It's our biggest concern because we're missing cleaver. We're missing cleaver, and we are missing our uh, what's it called, witchfinder. So yeah, he plays that out of the hand to avoid the thinning issue. Although he hasn't thinned very much yet, he will definitely do it by the end of this round, though. There's the cleaver. Again, smuggle not what we're looking for. Uh, let's see, we don't want to draw into our last Crown Splitter, so I think we put him back, just in case. Because we really want the Witchfinder. Didn't get her, but we have Bank. Bank will get to see her. That's nice. No Sculptor, too. That's the bigger concern. There's a Duodric. That's something I want to bounty. Definitely want to bounty that guy. We have Kurt for bounty. We have Hysteria for bounty. Let's go with the Hysteria for Bounty. And then... Yeah, we'll go for the Hysteria for Bounty. Then we can bank up a bunch of coins. And then once we make up a bunch of coins, we can go for our bank in Witchfinder. Next turn, our Executioner gets us to 8 coins. So yeah, he didn't have the Zeal Order, obviously. No Mage Assassin out. There's the Dead Man's Tongue. He's boosting this guy way up. That's fine with me. Plus 9. So he's going to be really hard to kill now. This is where Graydon is good. But we still don't have too much of a problem here, I don't think. We can go for our... Let's see. I think we go for our Executioner here. If we get him to 9, he dies to our um, Junior. So he's at 9 now. He dies to Junior, gives us 8 coins back. He's getting a lot of hands set up here, though.
I think we want to go for our cleaver soon so we can get our justice out and tunnel drill because tunnel drill is more efficient. So we'll see if we can't get that going pretty soon. Of course, we do want to junior this guy too. And we want to get out our Witchfinder fairly soon, so our finisher might just be Seeky with coin spending. But we have to keep in mind, we don't have that many spenders. We just have Cleaver, really. So our Theseus is going for it now. Let's see what this hits. Golem. Of course it hit Golem. I don't see why it wouldn't. So that's annoying. Uh, let's see. Junior comes for down for the kill here. I think we do want to do that. I think we do want to do this. Junior comes down here. Eight coins. Bank's going to give us profit three next turn. We're going to go for Witchfinder. So I guess we will spend these two. We're definitely playing bank next turn to get our Witchfinder out. I think we're going to need her in this round. Although, this is not an ideal setup. Oh, no Snowdrop in hand. That's nice. Let's see what he's going to do here. He has two Mage Assassins left. He could kill our Bounty Hunter guy, which would be annoying. No, he's not going to. And we're at one now. Joust. Okay, that's not a very good Joust, which is good for us. So we could bank for Witchfinder. We could also bank for Sculptor, or we can play our uh, Intimidate Cleaver. I think bank's the choice here. We do want our Witchfinder. Oh, she wasn't very far, very far down in our deck, so that's nice. It's going to be hard for us to kill that, but we actually can, considering we have Tunnel Drill and loss of coin generation. There's Triss. We're going to lose Witchfinder here. There he, she goes. That's okay. There's the Wanderers. Maybe he has too many points in this round, honestly. We have access to nothing right now, which is kind of a problem. I guess we have to play Cleaver. It's not clean, but we need to get something for Justice. And I don't want to play all these guys out, I just want at least one for the Justice. So we can get Tunnel Drill going. There's Thunder. We should have put the Cleaver on the other side of our coins. But I was more concerned with using this client than... uh that. So let's get out you actually this time. And then we'll start damaging down this guy. Uh, tunnel Drill is more efficient like I said, but I want to get some damage here. Because Tunnel Drill is going to die and we still have to play Seeky. And we don't actually have many other ways to bounty. We have Kurt and we have this Slander. So we're going to go Seagy and then Tunnel Drill. Like I said, we're going to go Seagy here. Next time we go for Tunnel Drill orders. We want to save Tunnel Drill as late as possible so he doesn't have removal for it. Because he did play the two tourney jousts and the heat wave. He mu and he also played assassinate. So he's playing a little more removal than I'd like. He still has Yennefer also. He might Yennefer here to boost so we can't kill a bounty card. But in that case we'll just put bounty on the Morven Voris because that would be better. Okay, so now is our tunnel drill turn. It has profit 1, so it gets us right to 9. So we do this. And then we kill this because it has engine value. 
and then we damage this. I don't think we kill it, though. We kill Yennefer. See, Assassinate can't hit this. He's played Triss. I think we're pretty safe here. So, what we want to put Bounty on before it dies. But there's no reason to save too many here. We only have two Bounties left. So we'll spend another one of these charges. That way, if we have... If we need to, we can use one bleeding from our guy to put bleeding on Voris, and then get bounty off that way. Okay, there goes Tunnel Drill. We really need a spend there, so if you give me a Sea Jackal, I'd actually be kind of happy. That is a Sea Jackal, that's pretty nice. So, we have two bounties here. I think our Confession Extractors are gone, because we only played the one. Yeah, it's got no charges left. So, okay. We will just go for a bounty then. I like the slander here. We put the one bounty on him so he'll bleed to death, hopefully. And then I think we do some damage around to various cards. We do need to put bleeding. We have no way to deck damage other than bleedings here, so we'll bleed these so we at least get. We're not going to get any more coins from our Kurt. So I guess we'll just spend around here a bit. We have seven to access the Horde on our guy. Gives us more points. So I think that will do it for now. We do get coins back at the end of his turn. Assuming he can't actually boost up as Morvan Voris, he may be able to. He's just going to play this. That's fine. Uh, let's see what he hits with it. Four. It's about expected. Then we get seven coins off that bleeding. Real good. The problem is here, normally there'd be a problem here, but he gave us this Sea Jackal. So the Sea Jackal is really key. He gives us more efficient coin spending, so... Three. I want to use some charges. Get to nine charges. We'll use Sea Jackal again for more efficient coins. Okay, I tap too many times. Get this coin too. It doesn't matter though, we have enough points here. We'll just play this guy range. Doesn't matter what we do here. And then we'll just spend these coins. And that gives us a GG. So yeah, the key here was us getting that um, Sea Jackal. Good game. We were able to take the long round, which is usually the approach if I don't have a good hand versus Nilfgaard. Hyper thin round twos to go for the long round three. And uh, we've got them that time. They're also using the same uh, leader skin we are, but just the Assassins of Kings version. So, like I said, this is going to be annoying here. Going first is bad, but having Crystal Skull is really good. So, that in mind, I think I want as many proactive cards as possible. And Sea Jackal's nice for a spender here because we only have two. So I think we'll take away this for now. Hysteria is also pretty good. We want the one crown splitter. Let's go with this. Now we are first and we want to play something that has value as a spender or yeah, mostly as a spender. So it's going to be coerced blacksmith here and we'll give him this. Having this is really good because he can't give bounty to this without first purifying it and then we waste Kurt. So as long as we, the longer we can wait before playing something that he can bounty, he might scoundrel us to get around this, by the way. So yeah, the longer we can wait to play something that, uh, here's Dip in the Pontar. He's going to try and damage us down, I guess. Fair enough. We will go for our own more proactive card then. In this Smuggle. So like I said, if he's just going to kill us with something here, that would be annoying. He does want to deal with this because otherwise he can't play Witchfinder and anything with Bounty doesn't get very much value here. We're just going to deny that as much as possible. As long as his Bounties aren't getting value, we are having an advantage if we get ours to get value. Coerce Blacksmith of his own. That's fine. We're going to play our Swindle here. We have the minimum plus one, so at least... Getting at least six coins. So I want to spend a couple here. Uh, 
Uh, we have a 50-50 for 6, 50-50 for 7. We got the 6, that's fine. We have a nice bank now. Let's see what he goes for. This could be Scoundrel. It's going to be Ferko the Sculptor. And to Justice, he might try and push us round one here. His bank isn't massive, but it's pretty, it's like fairly decent. Okay, so maybe Tunnel Drill, maybe not. We'll see. Freak Show does answer the bloody good friends, but that's not really strong. It's just all right. We could play our own um, Justice, but we don't have Tunnel Drill. And then we won't be able to use Tunnel Drill very effectively later on, so I don't really want to. I think what I'd rather do here is we have to commit something fairly big at least, right? So I think it'll be the Junior. Although if we do Junior, how do we kill a Tunnel Drill? That's a good point. How do we kill a Tunnel Drill? That would be rather annoying. Which finder's a big commitment. We could always go for the easy approach and just drop down our Sea Jackal and then go for one charge on him. Let's do that. Go up a point here. Okay, a little didn't quite click off of him there. Sorry about that. Let's see what he does. If this is Tunnel Drill, I think we pass or we Freak Show the Tunnel Drill. Not Freak Show, Junior the Tunnel Drill. So no Tunnel Drill yet. Okay, he's playing Redanian. No, I don't want to use you right now. Uh, let's see. He has a 9 coin bank. It's pretty good for him. We do not want to lose on even. So we're going to have to do something. I think I feel most comfortable playing Junior, but if he has another Poison, then we go down seven more points. So he plays the three-point guy. That gives us Poison at its ten-point swing. Junior's only a nine. Then we've lost our Junior here. He's committed several gold cards. I think we just pass here. It's not great, but if we keep going, he's still going to win on even anyway. I think we just have to accept that at this point. He's going to win on even without us committing something big, because we don't have damage spenders to take advantage of our bounties. We only have the deploy from Junior. This is better. This is much better. No Sculptor still, but we do have our Cleaver. You can set that up. No Tunnel Drill still is annoying. Uh, Kurt could be a problem, though. or Not a problem, could be really good. The thing is we're really missing out on Tunnel Drill, but Freak Show should be good enough substitute for now. We'll go with the hand. Let's see how much he wants to commit. He's going to be the one going first here, so we have the advantage of being reactive. This deck likes being reactive. We have the Confession Extractor. It's also a good, a good solid first play. That's for sure as well. Smuggle. See, he's trying, to, he's trying to make us be proactive. But we have our Confession Extractor instead. And we'll play it. It puts us to 8 coins as well. I want him to have to play something first. This turn here should tell us if he's going to pressure us or not. Our issue is going to be in the spending, right? Because we're going to lose a couple of points here from not having a spender out already. Unless we play Junior. So most likely he's going to play something and then we play Junior to pressure to get our... To deny him a card advantage around three. So my guess is here he plays something... Yeah, the best solution for us is if he plays something that's fairly big, like a Bloody Good Friends, then we just come down with Junior and use his ability twice, or his deploy and his fee. Witchfinder, so he's committing hard. We want to kill her. 
And the thing is, if we go for Junior, Junior has to, does not have to Insanity, actually. Junior here is really good. I'll trade Junior here for a Witchfinder every day. It's not an efficient spending of coins, but what it does do is stop us from over gaining coins. We're still on even here, which is good for us, and we've got rid of the Witchfinder. It gave out no bounties, so that's strong. The question is, he, the thing is, he probably has another good follow-up if he committed to that. But right now, our Cleaver gets us exactly to the right number of coins we want. There's his Freak Show. So whatever we play is going to die. What if we play Witchfinder? We want to avoid the even scenario here, but the thing is anything we play is going to die because he's got access to 8 coins immediately, 3 on the board, 5 banked, and then he has 6 coins he can get access to, so I think we have to accept we're probably going to lose on even unless we play Cleaver. And honestly this is a pretty good time for him too because he sets up our justice. We'll use his order twice. He's most likely going to die right now, but then we can get our justice will be pretty good. And then he won't get good value off of his damage from the Freak Show because we have shields on our other units. He could bounty him, but then he only gets one coin back too, which is also really nice. Witchfinder would be a nice card round 3 for us if he doesn't have anything here. We can go Seagy next for coins, and then spend from Cleaver if he doesn't kill it. He's probably going to kill it though. Yeah, there's the bounty. Oh, he's going to go for that for more. Okay, then he's going to hit our other guy, our Cleaver, now. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. The thing is, though, our Witchfinder Executioner is not too bad. We can also play our own Witchfinder, but then he still has Cleaver and we've spent our Witchfinder. We still have Justice then, so that's not bad. We have Justice Sigi. I think we will have to play our Witchfinder here. I think he's going to keep pressuring us unless we do something like this. We can kill that with two charge with uh, one from Freak Show and then one of our coins. That gives us enough to kill that. Then we have another access to six more damage after that. That's pretty good. I don't think he'll try and deny justice anymore, just because he has to hit through another shield. A confession extract here actually giving us two points of value. It's an odd number on our freak show. There's going to be a swindle or something for more coins. Smuggle. Okay. He's going to have to use a leader charge to kill our witch finder. But he doesn't want to. That's fine. I guess we play, we don't have to play Freak Show, we could play Executioner, which we will do because it's less of a commitment. We kill that, we're at 4 coins. Seagy Profits only is 8, we're not going to play that. I don't think we need to deploy these Bleedings, we'll save this for damage on Freak Show if we need them. He's going to have to start committing big cards here. Like, we could play Kurt, but I don't mind committing Kurt. It's not too bad. The Purify is nice. But we don't necessarily need it. Okay, there's the pass. That's good. We have a really strong hand, especially if we draw into Sculptor. We draw into Sculptor, we put Justice back in our deck. And then we play him opening into Tunnel Drill. We draw Tunnel Drill. That's two big things to draw, though. Bank would help us get there. Extractor's good. There's Sculptor. So I think what we do do is we definitely want to put back Dip in the Pontar. 
And then we'll see if we draw into Tunnel Drill. The thing with Justice now, if we put it back because we could draw our last course Blacksmith, and that would brick our guy. So I think we will not. We'll just keep this, and then redraw this and hope for... Like, we redraw Confession Extractor. We don't have enough spenders. I was saying we we're kind of concerned about getting into that last course Blacksmith, but I think we had to redraw. And I don't want to redraw Bloody Good Friend just because we have so few coin gathering cards as it is. And he's a. Another thing about him is he's a good opener. We can just tuck him down here and then go for our Justice next turn. And for the crime we want, sadly, Bank's not a crime. We're missing a Scoundrel and Tunnel Drill. But we can pull out Hysteria or Extractor, they're both good. I guess we're getting hysteria off of this next turn, then. That's not a super big play, though. We'll play our Justice now. And then we'll boost this out of hysteria range. But I don't think we have to go much higher than that. We'll make it one more just with an odd number in case he has his uh, Tunnel Drill. Somehow. Let's see what he goes for. We have Sculptor into whatever crime we want. Hysteria is good. Extractor is good. We only have one bounty for Extractor. Well, we have two bounties for Extractor, so that's actually quite nice. With the Freak Show spending. Might be the play. It's also proactive, which is nice, because I don't want to... Well, it's not super proactive, it's nice. He's going to bank for something. Hopefully it's at the bottom. No, it's at the top. So here comes Scoundrel. I think we unfortunately have to kill that. He's going to pull something. Sure. Uh, we bounty him, though, for sure. He's getting bountied. I like Slander as a way to bounty him. You could also go for Confession Extractor first, or go for Hysteria. I like Slander, though. I think we'll go for Hysteria for our crime. We'll go for Hysteria for our crime off of Sculptor. And then next turn we go for our Freak Show, and we'll take this guy out and get our coins back and kill whatever else he plays. If he has Tunnel Drill, he already played Justice. He still has Cleaver, we can kill Cleaver after we kill Scoundrel. Then he still has Tunnel Drill for big swings though, we don't have an answer. It's kind of an annoying situation. We might just have to tank the Tunnel Drill. We have to watch out for not having Spenders. He's going to remove the Bounty. Uh, we can Bounty him again with Kurt. Let's give him the Kurt Bounty. And we'll kill him next turn. He might be concerned about Graydon. Graydon would be really big here, but we don't have him. It's all about Freak Show. His well, I was kind of concerned about Tunnel Drill, but that's right. He has to play Cleaver first, and he might not be running it. Because he has to cut something for this um, Funny Red Danian, right? So I wonder what it is. Professor 2. Okay, so I'm guessing he doesn't have Cleaver. That did not seem very efficient. Maybe it was. Who knows? But right now, we're going to go for this guy. And then we go like this. We use three leader charges. You select that, go here. Coins are gone. Then we don't have many other spenders, so we're just gonna spend the coins now.
And I do want to boost him out of um, an efficient junior kill. So we'll do that. Now junior has to use a deploy and a fee to kill him. That'll be annoying. We still have our blacksmith to spend with if we need to. Yeah, this is what we're trying to make inefficient. And he did it too. Okay, so he's going to have a spender and he has last say, so we can't interfere with the spender. Sculptor into Hysteria isn't great. Dip into the Pontar. Hysteria, I guess, is the choice. We Hysteria onto the Redanian for last play. I guess that's what we're going to do. So we'll play Sigi here. Then we'll just spread some boosts around. Yeah, we might as well use these because we don't really want to keep these. We don't have to do boosts. We can do coins. Let's just do one boost just in case he's a random Igni. And we'll give a bleeding here. He's going to have the Sea Jackal probably first finisher, but he hasn't played Tunnel Drill yet. The chance he's still holding on to Tunnel Drill. Uh, he does have Cleaver. So is Cleaver Tunnel Drill first finishers then? Probably. I guess that means he probably wins. We should have bled uh, Kurt instead of the Freak Show, by the way. That way the Hysteria gives us two extra coins. We'll play the Sculptor. And then we have our Hysteria here. I just kind of want to get rid of him because it might have been its only Spender. Looks like it won't be, though. Yeah, I was thinking if we could get rid of the Freak Show, he wouldn't, or the Junior, he might not have a Spender for the rest of the game. But he did have a Spender because he had the Cleaver in hand. I thought he might not be running it. And there is the Tunnel Drill as well, so I guess we lose. I think he has enough coins here. Certainly has enough coins. Close game. Close game. GG. Okay. Yeah, the last game was unfortunate. It really just came down to he, we didn't draw our bank or scoundrel, and he drew every of, we didn't draw two of our good gold cards in bank and scoundrel, and he drew every single one of his gold cards. So that's just what that came down to in the end. Unfortunate. Blaze of Glory here. I'm not sure how I feel about this. We'll find out. If he plays a lot of big bronzes, for example, most of the Skelga players play the portal. If we can get a bunch of coins, then Scoundrel, we might be able to do something about that. Dipping the Pontar is not good here, though, I don't think. Junior is... We have Spenders enough. I don't think we need the, the Sea Jackal. Bounty's good versus his big cards. Uh, Do we just kill that? What do we want to do about that? Because that is going to be quite annoying. I think we want to play Confession Extractor here. Just something, re uh, something here to force him into playing something else. Only think about what we want to do. I think we're going to Junior that next turn. But let's see if we can get what he plays next. Hunter. Yeah, I think we do junior this. We junior this. Otherwise, this round's gonna be too difficult. And I want to push here because I want the, I want him to have to play iced on my terms. He's gonna play his um blood eagle here. But then again, he's setting up. He's giving us an opportunity to be very reactive, which is what we like. We could push for a win on even. Uh, Hysteria does four and kills something. That gives us a bank. That's nice. We can just Hysteria. I like that play. 
builds our bank without giving him anything to damage. I think he's a reactive deck. He might just pass. So there's Hersha. Uh, let's see. She has Veil, annoyingly. Now here we have a couple options. We could drop our Freak Show and kill his guys. We could not drop our Freak Show. I like dropping Freak Show to force the even. And then we have Witchfinder or Blacksmith. He's going to kill our um, Freak Show almost certainly. We do have to use a little... And it's not very clean. We do need a leader charge for this to work. But I think it's worth it. One liter charge isn't a big deal. And now he's going to have to remove this with something, and then we can set up our next big play. Alright, there's the raid. It's going to be Stunning Blow. Oh, War of Clans. You can bring back Brockfar Hunter, I guess? We get another turn out of our Freak Show. How do we want to use that turn from Freak Show? We could drop Sigi. He's a commitment, but we're going to win on even then. Most likely, because I don't think he'll come back from this. I like that plan. We're going to push for the even here. We've used Junior and Sigi, which is a lot of provisions. There's a Bear Witcher. Like I said, that is a lot of provisions here. And so is Witchfinder. If we have to play here, which I don't want to, but we might. Oh, he lost connection. He got it back. Then again, we don't have to. We don't have to do that. We can go for one of our blacksmiths, which is what I'm going to do here. And then they're both fours. Let me boost him because he has Intimidate. And yeah, we can do this. We now, as long as he lives, we can get our, um, whatever it's called off, our Justice. So give us the four bleeding there. It's not too bad. I think we will play Justice. This thins our deck. We can use Cleaver for Tunnel Drill instead. I like this for getting the coins. And now we just, these guys just boost each other. Denying him any bloodthirst he might have. We're not going to have a carryover bank, but winning on even is really good. There it is. So then round two, we force out his iced, I think. I think that's our plan. Which finder should be very effective of doing that at doing that rather. Then as long as we draw into Cleaver, we should be set. By round three. Cleaver or bank. Scoundrel's nice too. That's pretty good. Slander's good. There's Cleaver. Our hand's looking solid for this. Uh let's see. We have two we have a lot of spenders. We have too many, honestly. We'll get rid of this. I don't think I want to dip in the Pontar either. Kurt's nice. So the question is, what do we open with? I think if we open Scoundrel, we might have a problem. We don't have the coins for his tribute. I'm not sure that's that big a deal in this matchup, though. If we can force out the Iced, we should be pretty solid. We'll just sell on the top, whatever it is. Not bad, not bad. We can use two charges here, or we can just wait till next turn. I don't think I just wait until next turn. We have plenty of spenders. So here, he has profit too.
He can now pull Iced out, which is really what I want. I want him to... I want him to think it's a good idea, so he does it. So we'll pass here. Witchfinder's probably our next play, unless he goes for his ice to this turn. Okay, there's the Bear Witcher. That'll kill our guy. We still have Spenders, so this isn't that bad. Uh, we'll play Witchfinder here. We're really just going to go pretty hard here to go make sure his ice is gone and save Cleaver for round three. That's our game plan. All right, he's going to have to heal that. He kind of has to answer Scoundrel here, or he's in big trouble. So that means I think he's going to play his ice this turn. Oh, Trigvi, interesting. We're going to Kurt and Purify though, so that's not going to do anything. This is a big value purify. Oops, I don't want to put him back in my hand. Sorry about that. And now we pick our guy. Purify that. We'll use these three coins. And do this. Get eight coins back. End our turn. Give Trigvi the bounty. He has to play iced. There's nothing, there's no way around it. There he is. That's what we wanted. The question is, though... Okay, good. Iced is gone. Now we pass. That's what we wanted. We got what we wanted out of that round. And we have a coin bank going to this round, too. We have our cleaver. Really solid. The only thing missing now to make this basically a perfect hand is a tunnel drill. Well, actually, not really perfect, but we really want the Tunnel Drill and the Cleaver together. Sculptor could be good. Um, opponent lost connection. You might have realized he's in a really bad spot and left the game. Because he really is in a bad spot. We kind of did force out all of his big cards. We committed all of ours, too, except Cleaver. Okay, there we go. He's back. We don't want the Smuggle. He's going first. We can be reactive. Bank's nice, we have a spender. We access another spender. The slander's okay. I think we want to draw a tunnel drill though. Alright, we didn't get it. We can always get it off a of bank though. Hunter, sure. Uh let's see. What's the least I think he has a lot of damage cards, so we'll just play dip in the Pontar. I just want to be as slow as possible and playing any actual units for him to interact with. Okay, that's fine. We can bank for a spender other than Cleaver, which is Tunnel Drill. But then we have to play Cleaver first. I'm not a big fan of playing Cleaver right now. We lose a couple coins from the crime. We can always bank into the Sea Jackal as well. So I think we'll play this guy. Then give a bleeding here. He has Yalmar, I'm sure. We want Yalmar to not hit something big. He still has Blood Eagle. Then I'm not sure what his last card is. Maybe a Great Sword. I think they play a Great Sword for the whatever his name is. This will be the Blood Eagle most likely. I think as long as it doesn't really matter. Yeah, there it is. As long as we're fairly close, Cleaver, with all of our coins spent, will win the game. We just don't want to give him an opportunity to interact with that. There's the Cripple. Okay. So here's the thing. Tunnel Drill is really what we want here. We can get coins from our deck with Sculptor. Via the um, Confession Extractor. And I think I just want to make some stuff with Cleaver this turn. I think it's time we go for this. Now Tunnel Drill can come down. He's going to Yalmar away our Cleaver. That's fine. Uh, 
Heart of Terror. Interesting. That also kills him. This isn't great. But like I said, we have access to our Tunnel Drill Finisher. So that's going to be his Yalmar target. He might actually win this. I think we bank some coins here from Sculptor. It gives us the most. Um, Slander gives us... Slander's good. The reason Slander's good is Tunnel Drill can hit this and give us coins back. He can't Yalmar, and now if he Yal when he Yalmars us, which is I'm sure this card. Oh, it's actually Bear Witcher. Okay, so we still have our Tunnel Drill here. We have a fair amount of coins. Not sure it's going to be enough. Depends how far down Tunnel Drill is. Put him here, and then we kill off this. Hit something else first. Go for more coins back. And we have enough coins here to win this. Just use all these charges. And then just tunnel drill a couple things. And that'll be GG. We had definitely had enough coins there. But yeah, that was GG. That's exactly what we want to do with the deck. So what do I think about the deck? How'd it do? Did pretty well. We lost the one game against the other line pockets player. Essentially, we lost the mirror match because he drew better in the end. That's not really too bad. I don't mind that it happens. But as far as the deck, the things I like in the deck, I like having so many powerful golds. And they almost, almost all of them just come down for massive value, which is really good. The thing we're missing, the Graydon, Graydon's really good in the mirror match because stuff gets big and it's really good versus, well not mirror match, I meant versus Nilfgaard, hyper thin. It's really good there because Zarthesius, for example, is a huge target. But even without him, we're still able to win. So I think we're fine without him. I like Junior or Scoundrel better. I think you have to cut one or the other for him. So I don't think you really need the other cards. Which finder? Maybe Sigi you can cut. A profit's really nice though. But yeah, I think somewhere in here, Sigi maybe. Maybe Witch Finder, but I really like Witch Finder too. I think I would, if I had a choice, it's either Scoundrel or Junior if you want to put Graydon in. Graydon's pretty solid. The rest of the deck though, the or rest of the golds rather, are really I think you definitely want to be playing Justice, Cleaver, Witch Finder. And Bank, Sculptor, Drill, Freak Show, and Kurt. I think you really want those. And the other ones I, I would recommend. But if you want to fit a grade in, you sure could. You can also cut um, Junior to put in a Heat Wave. You break Devotion, but Junior is your Devotion payoff. So you can cut him for the Heat Wave if you really want the Banish. That's certainly an option as well. I like the Junior though. Then as far as the Bronzes, you can change these around as however you want. If you like Bloody Goods Friends better than Course Blacksmith, you can run two of him and one Blacksmith. I would recommend running at least three Crown Splitters. I found at two and less, well, usually I've never run less than two. You've, at two, say two Bloody Good Friends or just two Blacksmiths, the Justice is too hard to always have a target in your deck. Sometimes it gets bricked, and you don't want that happening. The other Bronzes, though, you can certainly swap stuff around. For example, the Slander and Hysteria, you can, if you drop the Junior to a Graydon, you can bump a Slander to a Hysteria. That's what I'd recommend if you want to change the Bronzes. And the other thing is, you can also run any of the other ones you want, really. I do like the Sea Jackal. The second Slander I like more because we have Bounty Synergies and Bounties are kind of fun. But yeah, this is it. And I, you definitely want the two Witch Hunter Executioners. So there's a couple things you could change around. I... If you want more consistency, you can run, say, two Swindles or two Smuggles, depending on whichever card you like better. I like the one of each. It makes it a little more interesting to me. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video this time, and we'll see you next time. Sorry again about having to record this on the mobile version, but uh, our laptop sort of died. <laughs> hopefully it wasn't too big a deal. 
like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.